Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well folks, as usual, Mother Nature definitely affected the fishing this past week with the heavy rain that some areas experienced on uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, and then we also had the heat on uh, Sunday and Monday and that kind of kept a few people off the lakes. But uh, people that went out had some luck. I won't say it was hot and heavy in most locations, but uh, up in the northeastern part of the state, the lakes that have been producing fish continue to do that. Uh, obviously like Bitter and Wabe, Lynn, Reeds, Opitz, Indian Springs, Clear, Fish, Round, as well as Dry Lake by Clark and then also Big Stone. And then on the southeastern part of the state, the, the lakes that produce walleyes included a Dry Lake by Willow Lake, Ponset, Sinai, Thompson, a few uh, being caught at 81 Ponds, and again you have to access that from the west. And then also Madison uh, which has been producing some nice fish, and then Brant and Island. Uh, on the Missouri River, a lot of guys have having a lot of luck uh, lately, uh, especially in the faster water. Uh, let's say like Fort Thompson, a lot of guys are using uh, heavy weights with uh, three-weight swivels and original floating wraps uh, on there. Uh, other guys are uh, having luck on Oahe as well as Mulbridge, and what they're doing up there is pulling spinners with crawlers as well as pulling plugs. On the lakes, a lot of guys are still using crawlers, uh, obviously with uh, either slow death or uh, a crawler harness has been working really well. And then also other guys are pulling plugs as well. And then as far as the panfish bite is concerned, uh, perch and the crappie bite has kind of uh, tapered off a little bit. Some of the lakes that have been producing perch include uh, Big Stone, Ponset, Thompson, Madison, as well as Island. And then the crappie bite again has really been uh, sketchy in most areas. Uh, Ponset, Thompson, and Lake Elvin have been producing the uh, crappie. Now what have guys been doing to catch those crappie or those perch? Uh, a lot of small jigs obviously and then as far as bait is concerned, small minnows as well as uh, red worms uh, and that includes the natural color as well as the green. It seems like the green is really starting to take off now and then also wax worms and maggots and we have plenty of all of that on hand here at the store. In this week's version of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to do something different here, folks. We're going to talk about helping other people. Uh, we've talked about all, all of us wanting to lend a hand to help others in, in need, and I've been asked by uh, the Ronald McDonald House to, to wear a kilt uh, to raise money and look for a program that we call Kilts for Kids. Folks, you can help me raise that money for by the end of September to help make an impact on those kids' lives as well as the families' lives that go through this. Uh, I will be wearing a kilt from time to time here at the store. I already wore one uh, while catching up at Target Field, which was a treat uh, in itself. Uh, but again, all the proceeds go to families that need our help, and we can truly make a difference in many people's lives. So let's all us in the fishing community bind together and help these families out. Help the Ronald McDonald House, and by you, by you texting the, this number, you can help me raise the money where all the funds stay local. So again, if you want to help me raise money for the Ronald McDonald House, and let's do this all together, text KILT, K-I-L-T, Todd H, to the number 50155. Again, text the words KILT, K-I-L-T, Todd H, T-O-D-D-H, to the number 50155. If you have questions about that, you can give us a call at 605-336-9132. And those of you that are following this on Facebook, you can also click on the link above this video to donate. So again, let's all make a difference and help with a great cause like the Ronald McDonald House. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And before we end this week's report, I want to remind you of a couple of things. As I mentioned last week, leech season is coming to a close. We still have leeches on hand, but not for too much longer. So again, if you're interested in leeches, stop on by and get yours before they're gone. The second thing is, on a hot time like we're experiencing now, why not talk about ice fishing? We're going to talk about the Ice Institute. If you uh, have any product, ice fishing product that you'd like to sell and put in the hands and in front of thousands of people, we would like to have you at the Ice Institute. If you'd like to be a vendor or if you know someone that would like to be a vendor, have them give us a call at 605-336-9132. 
Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Highcamp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching.